everybody, it's Shane here from Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing. Happy Tuesday. Um, I wanted to come to you guys today live with a topic that has been near and dear to my heart lately and I wanted to share my thoughts about it with you guys. So if you're just joining me here today, hello, happy Tuesday. I don't know where you are right now, but where I am here in London, Ontario, it is like 32 degrees and super hot and sunny. It feels like the middle of summer, not the beginning of fall here, but I love it. I'm embracing it. I'm wearing my yellow today, just celebrate it. And um, yeah, so I wanted to, um, let me know first of all where you're coming in from. Is it warm where you are? I hope so, because I hope you're getting a, uh, a blast of summer like we are here. But I wanted to talk today, you guys, about the long game in this business because the long game is honestly what is what is the mindset and what you need to commit to to making this business work. So we're gonna chat about that and what it means. I love this saying, um, you know, Jim Rohn. The quote he says, "How long should I try?" And the answer is until you know until you make it work until you find that next business partner, until you are living the life that you wanna live, you guys. This business is full of twists and turns and ups and downs, and that is one of the reasons why I started Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing was because I had seen in my world so many people give up on their businesses on the first stumbling block, the first thing that went wrong, the first person that said no, the first you know um, few people that you know came and left their business, and we all know that that's, that's part of the game in network marketing are these twists and turns and these ups and downs. Network marketing is a game about the long, it's the long game. It's about committing to your business no matter what. It's about knowing and committing to that at the beginning that you're going to persist until, until you succeed, right? And so some of the things that I wanted to talk about with this is, you know, what does that mean for network marketing? So number one is, no deadlines, you know, you don't give yourself a deadline in this business. One of the worst things you can do is say, oh, I'm gonna give this two months, I'm gonna give this three months, I'm gonna give this six months and see if it works. You guys, it could take you three years, but if it took you three years to build to a place where you were actually, you know, having that life-changing income and that time freedom, don't you think three years is worth it to build it? Don't you think three years, like to me, five years goes by like, like that. I've been in this business for seven years now, which is a blip in my radar, right? So seven years to be able to, you know, persist in my business, to be able to live a life like I couldn't live when I was working for somebody else. To me, that's worth it, right? So to, st like, to be in this business for the long haul means no deadlines. You're not giving this two months or six months or a year. You're persisting in this business until you succeed. So no deadlines. Number two is expecting and embracing the obstacles. That is part of playing the long game, you guys. There's always going to be obstacles no matter what level, no matter what success level you find in this business, even at the very tippy top of your business plan, you're going to have obstacles. That is just part of being an entrepreneur. It's part of being a business in business. So you have to decide right now, if you're committing to the long game, that you're committing to getting through and past and over the obstacles because they're coming. And if you haven't had any yet, they are coming. And guess what those obstacles do, you guys? Those obstacles build us. They build our confidence. They build our leadership skills. They build our skill sets. And the worst thing you can do is when you come up to an obstacle like, okay, you don't know enough people. You're not, you, you run out of people. Then figure it out. Where can you get more people? If you stop and give up because you ran into an obstacle where you think you've run out of people and you just quit, well, that's the only way to fail, my friends. If you can keep going, keep finding, get yourself out there, figure it out, be resourceful because you're in this for the long game. You're not, you're not in this for six months. You're in this for as long as it takes. So where can you meet new people? Or if somebody quit, you know what? That happens, that's part of the business. People are gonna come and go in our businesses all the time. That's just something you gotta get used to, right? So expecting and embracing those obstacles and looking at them as stepping stones to learn and build and grow and get better, right? These things are here to, to, to teach us something. Um, so that's number two for being, you know, if, if, what does being in the long game mean? Number three, it means giving up things temporarily so that you can learn and grow and have them back in the long run. So 
giving up things like, I mean, I've given up TV, you know, I do watch a little bit of TV, but not nearly as much as I, as I used to, because I'm in this for the long game. If I've got extra time or I'm not, you know, built doing something with my family or, you know, taking the kids to hockey or whatever, if I've got an extra hour here and there, I'm doing something to build my business. I'm doing something to learn and grow. So I'm giving things up temporarily so that I can build this until, you know, I have the, the life that I'm looking for until I've been able to help you know, hundreds of other people have what I have, you know, then I can, then I can have those things back times 10, right? So it's about giving up temporarily, you know, giving up that temporarily. And to, if, you, if you're going to be in this to win this, you got to give up to, to gain and get right. Number four is sticking through, sticking with your business through the crappy times. There are crappy times in this business. You guys, it's business. We are entrepreneurs. Business is cyclical. There are things, there are going to be great times in your business, good seasons in your business where business is growing, sales are going crazy, you know, all kinds of awesome stuff is happening, but there will also be times where it's not so good, you know, where maybe your particular area isn't thriving at this moment in time or something's happening or there's a change in, in ownership or there's a change in product or who knows what could be changing or what could be happening. But are you in this for the long game? Are you going to hang on during those times? Because I guarantee you, wherever you go, you guys, the grass is only greener where you water it. If you decide that, you know, you're going to jump ship and go somewhere else, you guys, those problems are going to show up there too. They're everywhere. So are you in it for the long game? Are you in it to, to keep going even when times get tough? You know, because that's just part of being a business owner, whether you're in network marketing or whether you're in real estate or whether you're, you know, have your own bricks and mortar, whatever business or store, there's going to be good and bad times. So if you're in it for the long game, you've got to know that you've got to stick it out through those times, right? Um, can I get a hallelujah there? Some thumbs up, some hearts, right? There is going to be times where it's going to suck. It really is, but you are playing the long game, you guys. You're in this to win it, right? So you're not going to give up just because times get tough. There's always going to be tough times. Number five is staying focused on your big vision, you guys. If something is going on in your business, someone leaves, someone quits, you got drama, whatever it is, are you focused on the fly on the windshield or are you focused on the big vision, that the place that you're heading to, the, the horizon where you know that everything is great and good and you're, you know, things you're, you're having the success you want. You've got the time freedom and the incomes that you want, or you focus on the little fly on the windshield. That's, you know, just buzzing around, making all the noise. Stop focusing on the noise. Keep moving, keep going forward, ditch the drama, you know, don't focus on the little things that are causing all the pain. Just move forward, get past them, be resourceful. Don't let it eat up your brain space. Stay positive, focus on the big vision. Those little things are gonna go, they're gonna come and go. So just keep your, if, like I know I, I keep looking over my corner of the corner of my eye here because my vision board's right there. No matter what happens in my world, I'm still going there. I'm gonna make that happen no matter what. I'm in this for the long game, I'll figure it out, right? So have those visions, have that vision board. Stay focused regardless, you got it, Alma. Stay focused regardless, you guys. Um, so keep that vision in your forefront. Keep it in your in your mind's eye to always know that's where you're going no matter how many little flies end up on your windshield, right? Number six in the long game and in, in being part of this in the long game is, is showing up every day. If you look at professional athletes who are out, you know, killing it in their, in their profession and they're making, you know, all kinds of money and they've got this crazy life, you guys, how many days did they have to show up and give it everything they had on the practice field, in training, you know, in, in being disciplined every single day in their craft before they could be out there having all the success and having all that stuff. To be in this for the long game means you need to show up for your business every single day. You can't just show up for three days and then be gone for three months. That's not playing the long game. That's actually very frustrating. Um, you're going to be very frustrated in your business. If you do that, you guys, you need to show up every single day. It doesn't mean you need to show up for 12 hours every single day, but put some time into your business every single day. That's being a part of the long game. That's putting the effort in. Those things will show up in your business at some point in time. They don't always show up right away. You could, you could show up for your business every single day for three months and not see that much, that many results that could happen. But I guarantee you maybe month four, month five, everything could just, you know, completely explode and momentum could just pop out of the ground. You guys know the bamboo shoot thing, right? You have to water a bamboo plant for like, 
90 days straight before you actually start to see a seedling. But once you get that seedling going and you give it the time and attention, it shoots up like 90 feet in like a 24 hour period. That's the same thing. That's about being part of the long game, watering your business every single day so that when it's time, it's going to just explode and you don't want to quit before then. You don't want to quit that, you know, before payday. You hear that all the time in this business. So showing up every day for your business, you guys. Um, and so lastly, it's about being resourceful, being committed to figuring it out. You guys, if something isn't working, if you are not finding success, what can you do to figure out how to make changes? Can you talk to your upline? Can you talk to your coach? Can you talk to, can you do some personal development? What books are you reading? How are you able to figure this out? How are you being resourceful and trying to get through the obstacles that you're facing? Or are you just sitting back and waiting for somebody else to fix it? That's not being a part of the long game. Being a part of the long game is every day stepping up and going, okay, what can I do day to today to be better? How can I make this better? What can I do to be better for myself and for my team? And how can I, you know, just show up in a bigger, better way for my business and for my family and for my life? Being resourceful in that way. Guys, figure it out. I promise you it'll be worth it. And you guys, why do you commit to the long game? Because the rewards at the end of the long game are just incredibly outstanding if you could if you knew what this business could give you if you just stuck with it and didn't quit time freedom I mean time freedom to me I mean the money can be amazing but the time freedom that this business offers you network marketing can offer you that residual income is worth so so much you know having the ability to be there for your kids you guys Friday I had an experience on Friday that I never want to have again I got a call at 2 o'clock in the afternoon my son got stung by a bee um, was having an allergic reaction at school, I was literally able to drop everything, not even think twice, jump in my car, get to the school and be there for him, give him the Benadryl, he's fine, everything's good, take him to the emergency room, spend two hours in the emergency room and not have to ask anybody or worry or do anything. I just got to pick up and leave. That to me is worth more than, it's worth putting the time in for this business. It's worth being able to be available to plan your days how you choose, to have the money and the freedom to be able to do the things that you wanna do in life. That's the reward in sticking it out for the long game, right? It's the reward for that. So, you know, thinking about that vision, that thing that you want in your life, is it worth it to stick it out for the long game? Because I'm telling you right now, you are in business for yourself. You are in business, you are an entrepreneur. There are going to be obstacles. There are gonna be twists and turns. The path to success is not a straight line, my friends. It is all twists and turns, ups and downs. I'm going through all my own twists and turns right now. I'm still in this to win this. I will figure it out and I will move forward and I will succeed. I just, this is just where I'm at right now and I understand that this is business. So I wanna ask you guys, are you in it for the long game? I want you to type yes in the comments if that is you. You're in this to win this, you guys. Um, commit to the long game. You know, make the decisions today that you're gonna do this no matter what, right? And I, I honestly believe that if you can commit to your business and put the intention out there that you are in this to win this, things will start to happen in your business. You will start to see things differently. You're committed, your mindset's different, things change. I don't know, it's a magical thing when you put intention behind your actions that you're in this to win this and you're not gonna give up no matter what. Because you guys know, the answer this question for me. The only way to fail in network marketing is to Type it in the comments. I guarantee you guys all know the answer. Um, okay guys, that's my message today. Stick with it for the long haul. I'm right there with you, you guys. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm in this to win this. I will figure it out. We will move forward together, my friends. Um, I love you guys. If you know somebody who needs to hear this message, if you've got somebody who's feeling like they're maybe thinking of you know, leaving their business, showing this business, that's why I started this business to begin with. Girlfriend's Guy was started because I wanted to help people stick with it to keep going, that we're all in the same boat. Stuff's gonna happen, you guys. Things are gonna go upside down sometimes, but that doesn't mean you give up. You just keep going for the long game. Okay, guys, yes, you gotta bark, quit. Yep, the only way to fail, you guys, is to quit. So we don't want that. We're not quitters here at Girlfriend's Guide. We're here to, we're here, we're in it to win it. So that's my message today, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a fantastic day. As my picture says up here, be amazing. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.